But it's been three and a half years since I sustained a spinal cord injury. I got hurt at the 2015 Red Bull Rampage. I was told that I was going to be in a wheelchair my whole life. I ended up burst fracturing my T12 vertebrae and compressing my spinal cord. Right when I hit the ground, I was immediately paralyzed from the waist down. Bike brought the best memories of all time. In the early days when you were told you're going to be in a wheelchair your whole life, like thinking to ride a bike ever again was kind of like out of the picture. But when I slowly got stronger, I realized that, hey, there might be a chance that I'm able to ride a bike again. Day four, long road to recovery. I'm currently walking with a cane and able to pedal an e-bike. The e-bike is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Never in a million years did I think that uh, you'd be walking in my garage and every single one of my bikes would have a motor first time placing the feet on the pedals it was the most awkward thing ever because I felt like I was just floating on the bike because I couldn't feel the pedals I just remember like being on like on the 12th gear trying to pedal up this super mellow grade and I couldn't once I started carrying momentum and feeling the wind slap my face it kind of just like came around full circle and it, it was like I never left the bike ever again before my injury you know I would ride a bike to to be the best, right? To, to learn new tricks, to go to competitions and try to win these events. And now, after my injury, I use the bike for a tool of freedom. To be able to go and ride these trails now, it's a huge blessing. I used to hate to pedal. Like, I would never go on like on a trail ride. I would never go on an XC ride. Like, I hate pedaling. And now, I go on these crazy pedal rides and I get the biggest smile on my face when I feel my legs getting sore because I know they're working. The bike is a part of me and it kind of sucks that the bike kind of created the situation where I'm at today, but it also brought the best memories of my life. I'm not out there to go try to be the best guy on the trails or try to win contests or trying to progress my riding. It's more in the fact that, hey, I'm able to go ride this bike with friends and have a good time. If it wasn't for this technology, there was no way I would be able to ride about 80% of the local trails here in Reno. I still deal with a lot of paralysis in my legs. Usually when you are jumping or going around turns and stuff, you're, you're actually using a lot of your calf muscles. So since I don't have that, I, I use a lot of like my upper chest, my forearms, my biceps. I enjoy riding the bike more than ever. I think in fact, I appreciate the bike way more than I ever have before my injury. It's so crazy to me that a lot of people hate on the e-bikes, right? Like, there was a time that last month I was I was riding on my local trails and this guy came up to me and he was giving me shit about riding an e-bike. When I rode down into the parking lot to load my bike up into my truck, he rode past me and saw that I was struggling, right? And uh, he realized there was something wrong with me. And he wrote me like a two-page email, just like super like apologetic and saying super sorry whatnot. You should never hate anybody on something that they enjoy doing, whether it has a motor on their bike or not. Respect everybody on the trails. Just be a good person and let them, let them do their thing because you never know what, what they're facing.